<laughs> not the couch. No, I can't sleep on the couch. You can't. You have to sleep no, on your bed. No, no. There's no reason for you to sleep on the couch. <laughs> Super pretty day. I'm a little out of breath because I just walked up the stairs. I just got back from the chiropractor. I feel so much better. Every time I come back from that that chiropractor office, I just always feel so much better because not only do they like adjust and like help you with the issues where you're having pain, but they're super uplifting and they just give you such good advice as to what to do while you're at home because um, they they can't help adjust you every single day so like they give me tips and stuff what to do at home and just are super super helpful when it comes to like moms and all of the work that we do I don't know they just make me feel really good so after every time I leave that office I'm just super like <sighs> So I just picked up Roman and now we just stopped at Chick-fil-A, got some lunch. Ooh, is that my babe? Is that my babe? Probably because he's the only one that texts me like ever. Oh, it was. So I got, we got something in the mail and I sent him a picture of it right here and he was like, Leave that alone. It's just something stupid. <laughs> so I sent him like a curious emoji and he's like, I don't want to talk about it because he's such a bad liar. I know it's for me and I want to open it and he knows I want to open it. So I sent him this little, my little emoji sneaking a peek at my present. I'm not gonna, I promise. He was like, don't you dare. You wanna say hello loves? Hello loves. <laughs> he said hello loves. <laughs> You want to say hello to the loves? Hello, loves. That was really sad and pathetic. Why? You tell me why. You know why? I do know why, but I wanted you to tell them why. I can't find my little bell ornament on the Christmas tree. Yeah, you had a bell ornament on the Christmas tree where it's supposed to go, and you took Whoa. it off. And now you can't find it. So now she's upset. But I'm the one that told her not to take it down because she'll lose it. But did she listen to mommy? No. Oh my. Now I got to take care of this really sad child right here. Acting really pathetic right now. I'll help you find it, Belle. But you've got to stop whining. Okay. Okay. And look what we found on the Christmas tree. Uh, Teddy, I told you it was on the tree. Roman, I told you it was on the tree. If you lose it, it's your fault. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. They're not glass, they're plastic, so I let them play with them, but they can't come whine to me if they lose it because it's not my fault and I warned them. Look at how much he wishes to be a free cat. So something I've been needing to do for a while is wash this couch. Now luckily the um, fabric comes off of the seat of the couch, like right here. 
this comes off. You can zip it off. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt though. So I'm gonna have the kids help me so I can get them all off, wash them, and putting them on is even harder than taking them off. So this should be fun. Zip it, take them all off. I know. First one's done. Okay, that was a task in itself. We left two, oops, the other one's over there. Two of them on because they are a huge pain in the butt to get off and on. And they didn't really have anything on them and they didn't smell that bad. It's the ones that Roman sits on and eats on because I do allow them to eat snacks in this living room because it's the kids' living room. I don't really care as much as I do for that living room out there. So I do allow them to eat snacks in here. When honestly, I feel like I should just make them eat snacks on the table that's literally right next to the couch. I don't know what the big deal is on that one. But um, that being said, those three smelt. So I'm going to wash them. Hopefully the stains come off and then Hopefully the couch doesn't smell as bad either. And then hopefully this weekend, Tim and I will be able to have time to soap this rug. But not only that, we wanna soap almost all the rugs and then the carpet upstairs um, if we have time to do it. And I think we should have time. To Look what I did. It is really nice. You see it? Christmas in here. That's really bright. But I hung up those little light things around this mirror and I hung them up on this thing right here. So it looks a little bit more Christmassy. And there's the Grinch. I'm not. Uh -uh. Hi guys, I had a vlog. Brayden's having a hard time finding a shirt that matches red pants. This? Yeah. No. Tip! Perfect! It's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. That works. You're not wearing that tomorrow. You can wear it on ugly sweater day. Yay! All right, so he finally picked out his outfit he's gonna wear. These kind of matches. Yeah. You might have to roll up the bottoms of them once or twice because they might be a little long on you. It says, cafe. Cracked an egg on your head. There's nothing on it. It's an invisible egg. But Hard boiled, so it didn't leave runny stuff. Yeah, she gave it to me. That's such weird. <laughs> I didn't get it. What do you think of his jacket, Roman? Not cool. Wrong jacket. <laughs> Not, Not cool. cool at all. 
You can't go downstairs. You have to sleep in your room. This is what normal kids do. They sleep on their beds, not... You have to learn to sleep on your bed, not the couch. You can't. You have to sleep on your bed. There's no reason for you to sleep on the couch. Give me one good reason why you want to sleep on the couch. You can watch videos in here. No. What do you do? I wish she would send me to bed. <laughs> You're lucky. Mommy won't let me go to sleep. And I don't even get to pick what shows we watch when we do go to sleep. And you get to pick. And she made you. She's letting you go in your room. Lucky. Where is it? Oh, yeah, I'll get it for you. Here, you stay right there. I'll throw it up to you. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Okay. One, two, three. That's this way. Oh, my bad. <laughs> is this your kitty? You didn't even catch it. <laughs>